Hey guys, and welcome to my first video on this channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Super Mario Run update and how to unlock Daisy. Now I'm just going to say that this will take a long time. Now the first thing we notice is that the icon now has Mario winking at us instead of just smiling. Next we can also see the home screen has changed quite a bit. So before we get into the new mode Remix 10 and how to unlock Daisy, I just want to point out some other new features. So the first thing I notice is that Yoshi can now get small when he's hit which makes him look so cute. Another awesome thing is that there is now a new world in tour mode known as Star World. This is actually a really cool world as it consists of 9 levels each unlocked by doing challenges in the game. I haven't unlocked any of these levels yet, but by the looks of it, they have new environments and enemies from previous Mario games. Okay, never mind, I unlocked one, but I haven't played it. And finally, before talking about Daisy, Mario Run now allows you to connect to your iTunes and play music from it into the game. Doing this allows your character to wear some cool looking headphones, which I kind of think is kind of funny. Now, what is Remix 10 you may be asking? Well, it's kind of confusing. Let's put it this way. As you can see, every 10 tiles there is a flagpole, or an airship, or a castle. Let's call this a single level. So every 10 tiles represents one level. So to play a level, you need to use a Toad Rally ticket. In those levels, you play 10 tiny courses and try to collect 3 rainbow coins in each of them. Don't worry, you don't actually need to collect all of them to win. After beating all 10 mini courses, you get rewarded with a random item to put into your kingdom builder. Something I find really cool is that the items now have rarities due to this feature. Now that you've finished the 10 mini courses and collected your prize, you finish the level and proceed on the map while counting the coins you got along the courses. Oh, and if you're wondering why Toadette was there, that just means you play the course as her. Your rainbow coins go towards a big prize which gives you an item with a rarity of at least 3. Now you're probably wondering why you still don't have Daisy yet. Well, you're still nowhere near getting her. As you can see on the map, there are still 10 mini courses, so you need to complete another level. Doing this will allow you to go to the next area, also known as World 2, which also has another two levels in it. Once you beat those two levels, you go on to World 3, which for some reason, every so often a world will have three levels instead of two. So now the question is, what world is Daisy at? Well, you see that 30 next to her name? Yep, you have to travel all the way to World 30 to save her. This means we need to play roughly 60 to 90 levels, which also means we are required to play 600 to 900 mini courses. All that just to save Daisy? Well, at least you get heaps of cool items along the way. I hope this video helped you guys, and if it did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for plenty of more Nintendo content. If you have any questions about the update, please ask. I'll be happy to help. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.